Hello and welcome to the video demonstration of the Torque Collaborative World Design Tool. I'm going to be guiding you through this tutorial which will show you some of the most common uses of the World Design Tool. As you can see we'll be using a dual video format which will help us to demonstrate how multiple users will be joining together to manipulate the level simultaneously. As you can see on the right the host is already logged in. We're just waiting for the client to log in and join us and then we're going to get started. Thread dots that represent the radius on the audio emitters can be very useful when you're working on them. It can be a little bit distracting when you're working on other objects. The host is going to select the Hide Audio Emitters command from the View Options menu, which will hide those not only for him, but for the client as well for now. Now the host is waiting on the client, but he doesn't even know exactly where in the level he is. One of the things he can do is he can hit the tab key repeatedly, which changes not only the different view styles, but it will also zoom over to the uh, client's avatar in third person mode and let him see exactly what he's doing. The ways that you manipulate an object have changed a bit between the uh, world design tool and the uh, traditional editor. For instance, before when you had to hold a combination of keys down to transition between moving an object, rotating an object, and scaling an object. Now what's done is you right click the object and you select the mode. That mode is then displayed in the upper left hand corner of the editor and you can manipulate the uh, object that way, moving it, rotating it, or scaling it. As you can see demonstrated in the left viewport, one of the key features of the Tor Collaborative World Design Tool is the ability for a client to join an existing level and manipulate the world just like the uh, host can. Here you can see a client duplicating an object using the right click menu. The scale and rotation of the object are preserved but the position is determined by dropping it at the center of the viewport of the client. As you can see, both the host and the client can manipulate these two buildings now. If they both attempt to manipulate them at the same time, the client will have precedence. As you can see here, the duplicate command also works for multiple objects. In this instance, the client duplicates both buildings at one time to generate four. Here the client and the host are working together to manipulate these four buildings. These manipulations may seem unrealistic, but it offers us a chance to demonstrate a couple more of our tools. You'll notice in the right-click menu there exists two commands to reset rotation and to reset scale. These will reset an object scale and rotation back to the identity matrix of the object, that of the object when it was first created. These commands are useful for whenever you're manipulating an object and it's not going right and sometimes it's just much quicker to start from scratch but you don't want to have to go in and punch in the numbers manually. One of the other commands that has changed with the World Design Tool is the hiding and showing of objects. You'll see here that the host hides these two buildings and they won't be visible again until he does show all objects. This is useful for getting some objects out of your way while you're working. Here in the left viewport in the upper left hand corner you can see the alter object window. The client is going to use it to rotate the object. One of the things about this is though is it rotates the object around the object's origin rather than the centroid of the object which is why the building is shifted behind the client. Now that you're done editing the level it's time to save. The host can do that directly with no problem but if the client goes to save 
the host has to accept that first. Once accepted, a dialog box will appear for the client to save it. The mission file will then be reconstructed as far as folders and mission data is concerned so they can be saved. As you can see in the right viewport, the host is still moving the building and the client can't see this. The location of the building at the exact moment when the client clicks save will be the position of the building that's actually saved. This concludes the brief tutorial on the Torque Collaborative World Design Tool. Thank you for joining us.